Hello and welcome to another tierless video. Today we are taking a look at vegetables. We got a pretty good variety here, so let's jump in. Starting us off, we have green onions. Now, you know, like all onions for me, I really don't think they're that great raw, but if you cook them, you know, saute them, I think they're really good. Green onions are a spectacular addition to stir fry. Every time I make stir fry, I'm always dicing up the green onions and just tossing them in there. I love green onions on stir fry. Uh, definitely a solid, solid A tier for me. They would be S tier because I love them, but eating them plain is almost impossible. So just gonna be A tier. Up next, we have lettuce. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the most versatile vegetable on this list. I mean, you know, lettuce, you can eat it plain if, you know, you're a little weird. Um, but, you know, you can have it in salads. You can put it in just so many dishes. You know, you can put it on sandwiches. I mean, lettuce in general, whether it's, you know, leaves of lettuce or shredded lettuce, it just has so many applications. It's so versatile. It's delicious. It's healthy. Lettuce, definitely solid, solid S tier. Up next, we have red onions. Now, I'm also going to be putting white onions in this as well because they're fairly similar in terms of their uses. Definitely different flavor a little bit, but um, they're pretty different from green onions, which is why I separated them out. So white and red onions, I think, are both really great. Both have some great uses. Once again, like green onions, I would never eat them plain. I don't really like putting raw onion on sandwiches or anything. But if you cook them, especially if you saute them or caramelize them, I think they're delicious. Um, and I think they go really well in a lot of dishes, you know, just like stir fries. I think they go great. Um, you know, cooked onions, really good, really versatile. Definitely a solid A tier right alongside green onions. Up next, we have turnips. Now, turnips are, in my opinion, horrible, horrible, horrible if you eat them plain. If you try and eat a turnip plain, I'm, I'm not even sure it's legal to eat a turnip plain, if I'm honest. But they are absolutely disgusting. And even when you cook them, I don't think they're very good, but I have had them prepared before where they like, uh, you know, they almost char them in butter. And I mean, anytime you char something in butter, you know, it's it's going to be pretty good. So I don't think they're great, but you know, if you prepare them well enough, um, you know, at that point, it's, you're not even really eating a vegetable, uh, but it can still taste good. They're not the worst thing in the world, but really not a huge fan of them unless you really prepare them and change the flavor a lot. So turnips, you're going to be in the D tier. Up next, we have carrots. Now carrots, you know, usually you have them either cooked or raw. Um, you know, when I was growing up, my parents would make me eat cooked carrots at dinner all the time. They would have them, you know, all the time for dinner. And I hated cooked carrots. I mean, raw carrots, I can kind of eat and choke down and it's not a big deal. But cooked carrots, there is something about the flavor of cooked carrots on my taste buds that my brain says, we got a problem here. We got to get these out. But I had to eat them and you know the more time went on the more i hated cooked carrots and i still don't like them raw carrots like i said i can choke them down but cooked carrots might honestly be one of my least favorite flavors in of anything that i've ever tried <clears throat> even worse than cherries honestly so carrots sorry but you're gonna be in the f tier up next we have snap peas now, I think snap peas are really good, you know, they're pretty fun to eat, uh, you know, they don't have a ton of flavor, but they got a bit of sweetness to them, you know, and, you know, of course, the reason they're named snap peas is when you eat them, they kind of have a little bit of a snap or crack when you eat them. Um, I think they're pretty good, definitely better than regular peas, um, you know, nothing spectacular, you can put them in dishes, you know, sometimes I'll throw them in a stir fry, uh, they don't really take on a whole lot of flavor, but just on their own, they're pretty good, I think they're a solid beach here. Up next, we have peas, you know, similar to snap peas, except um, I would say not quite as sweet, you know, and obviously the peas inside the pod is uh, much bulkier and has much more of its uh, its own flavor, which I think is okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. Similar to snap peas, you know, these go and do a lot more dishes than snap peas, I would say, it's just the peas. And I really don't think they take on a lot of flavor. Often I find when they're in a dish, usually I end up tasting more of the pea than the dish. So I don't think they're great. I don't think they're great to eat on their own. I don't think they're great to put in a dish. So peas, I'll put you in the C tier. Up next, we have cauliflower. Now, raw cauliflower, I hope none of you have had to endure eating raw cauliflower. Um, you think raw broccoli, raw broccoli is bad? You should try eating raw cauliflower. It's horrible. But cauliflower, if you cook it, you know, you put it on something, maybe melt some cheese on it, put a little bit of seasoning. I think it's pretty good. It's nothing spectacular, but it's all right. Um, we'll put it in the C tier. 
Up next, we have cabbage. Now for me, cabbage is kind of like lettuce, but just worse. It's definitely a lot tougher. Um, and I think it can go well in some dishes when you kind of need that sort of texture, but the flavor of cabbage, I'm really not a fan of, whether it's raw cabbage or cooked cabbage. I'm just not a fan of the flavor. I'll, I'll, I'll usually pick it off if it's on something, in fact, just because I find it takes away from the rest of the dish. So cabbage, you know, it's not repulsive. I'll eat it if it's already there, but not a huge fan, so we'll put it in the D tier. Up next, we have potatoes. This is another one of the super versatile vegetables on this list. I mean, you can do so, so many things with potatoes. Um, but just eating them plain on their own, I'm not a huge fan, and that's more so what I'm considering here. Because um, I don't really count french fries as potatoes. I mean, you know, similar to radishes, you know, you're, you're changing the vegetable so much and making it so unhealthy at that point that it's hardly even still the vegetable. But potatoes are still pretty good. You know, baked potato, put some cheese in there, maybe some gravy. I think it's pretty good, but I don't, I don't love it. So we'll put it in the C tier. Up next, we have sweet potatoes. Now you're probably thinking, position theory, you don't like potatoes. He's not going to like sweet potatoes. But strangely enough, I actually do. Now it's strange. I don't love sweet potato fries, but I love french fries. And then I don't love potatoes, but I actually really like sweet potatoes. You know, just, you know, put it in the microwave or the oven, you know, instant pot, however you want to prepare it. Make a nice baked sweet potato, season it a little bit. I think it's really good. Sweet potatoes, solid B tier. Up next, we have asparagus. Now, cooked asparagus, I think, you know, you put enough salt on there, I think it's really good especially the top parts where all the flavors at. Um, but asparagus is kind of weird because, you know, you have those long stems of asparagus and the bottom part, nobody really likes it that much. It doesn't have a lot of flavors, kind of, you know, a little chewy or a little tougher. But then the top part where the, I don't need, I wouldn't call it, exactly call it a leafy bit, but you know, the top part that has the, the flowering part, I suppose. That part is really good. That part tastes like an A tier if it's properly seasoned and cooked, but the bottom part, Tastes like a C tier. So average that out and asparagus in the B tier. Up next, we have spinach. Now this is kind of just like, I would say a healthier version of lettuce. Not that lettuce is unhealthy, but just there's more nutrients in spinach. But I do find that spinach doesn't taste quite as good. Um, I think cooked spinach goes pretty well in quite a few dishes, but overall, not a huge fan, but it's still pretty good, still versatile. We'll put it in the B tier. Up next, we have peppers. I absolutely love peppers. Doesn't matter if I'm eating them raw or cooked. I love cooking them and putting them in dishes, but peppers are fantastic. I love, love, love peppers, especially yellow peppers. Definitely my favorite kind. So bell peppers, S tier. Up next, we have beans. Believe it or not, beans are part of the vegetable group. And there's a lot of different beans, but here I have pictured the black beans, which are my favorite kind of beans. Um, you know, it's, it's such a staple in my diet, you know, beans, rice, and then any sort of meat, whether it's chicken, you know, tuna, some other fish, steak. So, so good. I love black beans. Another one, S tier. Other types of beans, I'm not as big of a fan, but just because of black beans, I mean, I have black beans probably two, three times a week at least. So definitely an S tier for me. Up next, we have bok choy, which is a pretty versatile vegetable. Um, it's one I've never actually had just plain, so I don't even know what it tastes like plain, but I've had it in dishes, you know, at restaurants, you know, put it in stir fries. I think it's pretty good, not spectacular, but you know, it's it's a good addition to a dish, particularly stir fries, as many vegetables are. Um, but I've never had it plain, so I can't say too, too much about it, but my experience, it's been solid. So we'll put it in the beach here. Up next, we have broccoli. Now, if you're eating raw broccoli, I'm sorry that, you know, you're putting yourself through that raw broccoli. Not great. Gonna take a hard pass on raw broccoli, but cooked broccoli is so good. You know, you can put it in a lot of dishes, but really if you just melt some cheese, especially pepper jack cheese, I see people usually go for cheddar or American cheese on broccoli, but if you melt pepper jack cheese, get a little bit of spiciness from the cheese in there, I think it goes really well on broccoli. Broccoli will put you in A tier. Up next we have squash. Now squash is something that, particularly butternut squash, I used to think was disgusting growing up as a kid. It looked gross, it smelled gross, but I kid you not, probably three months ago, I tried cooked butternut squash for the first time in several years, and you know, it wasn't bad. It's it's okay, I don't absolutely love it, but if it's cooked well, you know, put some olive oil on it, throw it in the oven for, I don't know, an hour, um, and then season it, salt and pepper it when you get out. I think butternut squash can be pretty good. It's not spectacular, but you know, it's it's good. 
We'll put it in the C tier. Up next, we have celery. Now, celery is one where if you eat it plain, I mean, there's a reason that celery, you literally burn more calories digesting it than is actually in it. There's no calories in it because there's really no flavor. Like, if you're just eating raw celery, I, I really can't think of anything more boring to eat. It doesn't really have any flavor. Um, it's kind of tough to eat. But if you put it in dishes, like particularly soup, you see it a lot in soup, I think it's pretty good, you know? It gets nice and soft. Still doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, but it takes on the flavor of a soup really well, so I think it goes well there. Um, on its own, it's nothing special, but, you know, celery, great, great addition to soup. Um, and pretty much just for that reason, I'm gonna be putting it in the, D the B tier. Up next, we have chickpeas. Now, I think chickpeas are okay. Some people really love putting them in dishes. Um, I usually find they're a bit of a distraction in dishes because they don't really take on the flavor of any dish. They're just kind of, you know, there thrown in. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of them, but you know, eating them on their own, they're okay. Nothing spectacular, but you know, they're only okay. So I'll put them in the C tier. Up next, we have zucchini. Now I really don't like zucchini. Um, you know, I've had zucchini bread, had cooked zucchini, even raw zucchini once. And no matter how I prepare it, I'm just not a huge fan. Uh, haven't found a way to eat zucchini that I enjoy it. So zucchini, push in the D tier. Not horrible, but again, I'm not a fan. Up next, we have cucumbers. Now cucumbers on their own, I'm not really a fan of. They don't taste bad. I won't pick them off, but I would never put cucumbers on something because I don't think they add anything to a dish. Definitely never eat them plain. But however, cucumbers, you know, soak it in vinegar for a while, make it into a pickle. I really like pickles. I think pickles go great on a lot of things. So cucumber probably would be a D tier for me, but because of pickles, we'll bring it up to the C tier. Up next, we have eggplant. Now, I haven't had eggplant a bunch of times. I've had stuffed eggplant a couple times, and I think that can be pretty good, you know, if you cook it properly um, and, you know, fill it with a lot of good things. I think you could make it good, but on its own, I don't think eggplant is very good. Um, but, you know, if you cook it, you prepare it properly. I think it's okay, so we'll put it in the C tier. Up next, we have Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts, I think, are great if you prepare them properly. Some people will boil, you know, Brussels sprouts, and I think that is absolutely, like, the wrong way to do it, or they'll steam them. I think that's absolutely the wrong way to do it. Brussels sprouts, if you want to make them good, crank up the stove, get out a pan, put some olive oil on it, Maybe a little bit of butter in there as well. Cut the Brussels sprouts in half and fry them until they're like dark brown, almost black on the bottom. And it's delicious. Brussels sprouts, amazing if you eat them like that. Any other way, it's not great. Brussels sprouts, really solid A tier. Up next, we have green beans. Now, I'm really not a fan of green beans. Um, I had them a lot growing up. Didn't hate them nearly as much as cooked carrots, but never been a fan of green beans um you know no matter what you put them in no matter how you prepare them you know i've had people you know cook them basically drenched in butter and it's still not enough for me to enjoy it so green beans we'll put in the d tier up next we have beets and radishes now i'm gonna do these at the same time because they both fit into the same slot for me um it's just like turnips that we talked about earlier i think on their own they're bad you know even if you cook them kind of properly they're still not great um, but if you cook them, you know, enough in butter, prepare them properly, season them, they're okay. But both for uh, beets and for radishes, um, I think they're both pretty bad. So they're both going to end up in the D tier as well. Up next, we have tomatoes. Now, I think like cooked tomatoes, whether it's, you know, in like soup or chili or something, I don't think it's great. I don't like cooked tomatoes and things like that. But if you have a nice fresh tomato, you get a slice of tomato, you know, throw it on a burger, throw it on a sandwich, you know, maybe you put it in a salad, put it on a burrito. I think it's pretty good. So, you know, fresh tomato sliced up and thrown on something, I think it's pretty good. Cooked tomato, not so much. So tomato, I'll put you in the C tier. Up next, we have bean sprouts. Now this is, in my opinion, a pretty underrated vegetable. Um, I don't see many people using bean sprouts and I actually recommend people do. I think it's a great addition, you know, once again, like many vegetables to stir fry. Throw some bean sprouts on a stir fry, it really takes in the flavor, the juices, soaks it up, and it just tastes really good. So bean sprouts, solid, solid B tier. Close to A tier, but just a solid B tier. Up next, we have mushrooms. Now, I wish I liked mushrooms. I actually think they look really appetizing, but 
but every time I taste it, I just can't stand it. Even if there's just a little bit of mushroom in a dish, my tongue just really tastes it in the dish and it kind of ruins it for me. So mushrooms, as much as I wish I liked them, because I think they look really appetizing, I've never found a mushroom that I like, so F tier. Up next, we have corn. Corn is a great one. You know, it goes well on so many dishes, but also just a classic corn on the cob. Melt some butter, salt it, eat it. Delicious. Corn is a great one. Definitely going to be A tier for me. Up next, we have pumpkin. Now, I've only had, like, actual cooked pumpkin a couple times. Um, and, you know, it doesn't taste as much like pumpkin pie as you would like. But cooked pumpkin, I think, is pretty good. Also, pumpkin seeds, another good way to eat it. Um, you know, overall, pumpkins are pretty versatile. They're big, they're orange, you know, they're, they're all right. We'll put them in the seat here. Well, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.